currently taking a look at two assets saved in my laptops category. If I click on one of these assets, in the middle of the page are a collection of fields that make up each asset, RAM, hard drive size, brand, processor, and so forth. Now these are the fields that I have saved in the laptops category. If I wanted to edit this category or even create a new category, I can click asset categories. From the left side, click laptops. And now notice the two columns here, available fields and show these fields. Show these fields are where the saved fields exist for laptops, RAM, hard drive size, brand, processor. But if I wanted to add a new field, let's say screen size, I can click and drag and click save category. Now if I wanted to add an entirely new field, I can click add field, give the field a name, set a field type, save the field and add it. But for this example, I'm just going to go back to my assets. Again, viewing my laptops, if I click on one of my laptops, I now have a screen size field available for me to add data. So if I click edit, and scroll down, here's the screen size field. I can choose a value and click save. Now, if I were to scan an asset using the mobile app, I would have these same fields available to me to fill out. Um, so that's a good example of the category editor and adding a field.